Hey everybody, this is Matt here again with Shaving the Day. Um, I haven't done a Shave Den tour in a while, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and I figured it was time for an update for you guys, so I'm doing one today. Um, it looks quite a bit different than the last time that I did one, so um, I figured out some different ways to organize things, and as I've added more soaps and aftershaves and stuff to my collection, I figured um, I needed to move some stuff around, reorganize a little bit, so it's not perfect by any means, but it's what works for me right now. Um, as you can see, it's just kind of in a closet in one of the spare bedrooms right now. Um, that's where it's going to be probably for quite a while, but I'm hoping to have a dedicated space for it um, at some point in some kind of cabinets or something like that where I can actually display stuff instead of having it closed away in a closet. But um, we'll get started here. So here we go. Don't mind the extra stuff at the bottom of the closet. Um, this isn't the only thing that's stored in here. But anyway, getting into it here, um, we'll start with the walls. Um, I have some Gillette 7 o'clock black super platinums um, from India. Those are some of my favorite blades. And uh, Astra Blues um, Superior Stainless are some more of my favorites. So uh, those are the only two that I have a full... 100 pack of um, and as you can see I've been working my way through those um, Just have this painting here um, Really enjoyed it. Um, I found it at a Goodwill and it, it was very nostalgic for me because uh, my grandpa used to have the exact same one or Something similar at least I think um, And then down here I've got a map of Rome uh, Which is a place that means a lot to my wife uh, she studied abroad there, um, and our honeymoon was there, so it means a lot to me, too. Then over here, we've got a map of the state of Michigan in the style of Lord of the Rings uh, from the books, which is super cool. I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, um, so that's a nice addition to the den, too. Um, and then I've got a uh, barbershop scented Little Tree air freshener, which probably doesn't smell too strong anymore. It's been in there for a while, but... Uh, for a long time, <clears throat> when I opened the closet, I could smell it very strong, uh, which was nice. But we'll get into it here. So on the left side are some of my brushes. I've got some artisan brushes, a razor rock brush, a Parasso bore brush, another artisan brush, and then a Maggard's synthetic brush. And then we'll go into the bowls over here. Um, got the PAA travel scuttle there, two... Uh, collapsible uh, dog food bowls, uh, Captain's Choice Bowl, which is the one I definitely use the most. Then in that blue timeless bowl back there, we've got the Sterling Synthetic Brush, which has seen better days, and a brush that was sent to me by Brian Foley. Uh, it's got a Lucite handle, super cool. Um, and then in here is the Parasso Azure Lime Shaving Cream in a bag. Um, so that's what I've got there. Kind of tucked away in that back corner there, I have some of the classic aftershaves, um, of old. So I've got Skin Bracer down there at the very bottom in the corner. Aqua Velva. I've got some Afta Balm Brute here. And Clubman, of course. Uh, those are some of the classics that I've got in there. Uh, obviously, don't have all of them, but those are the main ones. And then here I've got the uh, Old Spice Shaving Creams Fresh Lime and the original. Oh, there's Old Spice back there, of course. Can't forget that. Um, just a few razors here that wouldn't fit where I have all of the other ones. So this is the Gem Lather Catcher there. It has a blade in it. Um, and then some extra plates for the Rockwell Success and the Starling Single Edge. I've got my Parker Shavette there and the Gem Featherweight. And along the front here, I've got a few blades that, a few types of blades that I use pretty frequently. So again, the Gillette 7 o'clock black. Treat Carbon Black Beauty Blades. Tatra, I've been trying those. And then the Astra Green, sometimes I'll use those too. Over here I've got my one and only actual straight razor. Let me see if I can pull it out here. So 
So this is a, let's see, made in, if I can get it to focus, hang on. Made in Essex, Germany, I think. Not quite sure what that says. Flip it around. Oh, it's a Wald. It's a Wald. I, can't, I couldn't remember. Uh, it's made in Solingen. So it's a German blade. Um, and needs to be honed. Um, tried it a couple times. It is just not quite sharp enough. Um, too tuggy. So it needs to be honed and dropped uh, before I can really start using that. But I hope to at some point when I get around to it. Got some Derby half blades here uh, for the Chevette. Toothbrush for, for cleaning different razors. A couple uh, scoopers for my soap. Got just that kind of long one. And then this is from uh, Hazlitt's Apothecary. It's kind of this cool twisted spoon there. And then a big, pa a big pack of gem blades back there. Um, we'll go through some of the splashes and whatnot. Not going to pull them all out, but lots of sterling here in that row. Almond cream, Arcadia, Mountain Man, uh, Bergamot Lavender, and Witchy Woman, which smells like uh, Hawaiian Punch. It smells really good. Obviously, some stuff is capable of tipping over, but not careful. Back here, I have Calvin Klein Obsession for Men Aftershave, which smells really good. Got that for a great deal at Marshall's. And here we've got some Cella, uh, that's the uh, aloe version, and then the, the regular red version. Uh, PAA, Good Vibrations, one of my favorites. Got Razor Rock Blue Fougere. And then we got some Uncle John's Cucumber Melon and pipe smoke back here some PAA unobtainium pumpkin 3.14 pumpkin pie balm uh, the star jelly aftershave which smells amazing but lights my face up and uh, as you can see in the front here there's a few that you've probably never seen before um, and that's because I haven't used them on camera yet uh, these are some birthday gifts so I got a few new sets that I'm excited to review for you guys on camera when I get around to it. Um, but those would be Crown and Crane Peppered Plum. And we've got, let's see, McDuff's Cardamom Chai. Ariana and Evans, the Pedro Fiasco's line, Santorini and Limoncello. So I have those four to review for you guys, which I very, very much like all of them in their own way. They're all very different. We've got some Lothar Orange, uh, Sudsy Sopri, Lavender Peppermint, PAA Dapper Docks, uh, Atomic Age Bay Rum. Back here I've got some of the smaller Sterling Splashes Iced Coffee, and uh, what's this one? Tangerine. So I guess I am going to go through all or most of these. More Sterling, Detonate. Haverford with menthol. That was my first purchase. Wouldn't get it with menthol again. Um, but I didn't realize it would affect the scent so much. Uh, coconut lime. Still smells great though. Suka. Alighieri. And Lightest Red. It's another bottle of Alighieri right there. They sent me two by mistake. And it allowed me to keep it. Which is very nice of them. And we've got the Parasso Azure Lime there, Parasso Green, Parasso Red, Seaforth Heather, McDuff's Candy Cane, love that one. And we've got Noble Otter Te Noire Vanille, and Ariane and Evans, which one's pink? Back here is the Sterling Haverford Balm. That's the only balm I have from Sterling. It's really nice. And over here we've got two bottles of 
Hazlitt's Apothecary Soko Rose. That's a bigger one back there. Really cool bottles with the cork. Love it. This is a shaving stick that I made from Parasso Green. And back there is a shaving stick, uh, Ogallala uh, Bay Rum, Limes, and Peppercorn, which I think smells like eggnog, which is kind of funny. It smells good um, if you like that kind of thing. And then we'll go up to the other shelf here. We'll start with the razors um, that I've got hanging here. This is a Gillette TV Special Super Speed. This is the Gillette Slim that the safety bar is a little bit bent, so I need to get that fixed. Uh, Gillette Ball End Tech. We got the Parker variant. And of course, the Gillette Fat Boy. We got the Gillette Heritage Razor here. And the Phoenix Starling Single Edge with the open comb plate on there. Come up here to the soap. Uh, there's a lot that's pushed back behind just to make room because I had them stacked actually way up towards the top and it was always knocking soaps over and stuff was falling and it was kind of precarious up here. So I did decide to push some stuff back behind to make more room. But you can see we've got Parasso green and red with the white behind it. Back there is a big bag of soap samples that I've been wor working my way through. Then here we've got the Cella. Uh, the aloe and the original almond. Then we've got Tobbs Platinum. And, um, remind me, what is it? Uh, T.R. Harris, the uh, rose-scented cream back there. Got the new Ariana and Evans Limoncello and Santorini, which smell incredible. Absolutely love them. That's back there. Back there, I've got a few bags of uh, extra bl loose blades, as you can see. And then on the bottom here, two razors that I rarely use. Uh, that is the Wilkinson Sword plastic one. And that's, I think it's a brand called Gentleman's Hardware. Uh, kind of basic safety razor. Here we've got Crown and Crane Peppered Plum and Lothar Orange. And then we've got Sudsy Soapery Peppermint and Lavender. There might be something back here. Let me see. No, not really right there. I'm going to try not to move too much. McDuff's Cardamom Chai and Candy Cane. No water, Te Noir et Vini. Then we've got PA Good Vibrations and C4 Heather there. Let me see if I can safely remove these without dropping them. Back there, I've got more PAA. Um, it's the Atomic Age Bay Rum the Pumpkin 3.14, and the Dapper Docks. Over here we've got some Sterling, Suka, Lightish Red, Alighieri, Tangerine, Iced Coffee. Then we've got Mountain Man, Detonate, Haverford, Arcadia, Coconut Lime. There's definitely more soaps back here. Let me see if I can get in there so you can see. We've got kind of just some other soaps back there. I've got the Uncle John's. Katie's Bubbles, a few back there. Uh, might be forgetting something. Some more Sterling. And then a few aftershaves. Um, and some brushes back there that I uh, don't reach for quite as often. Um, and then back there in that very corner is Men Rock uh, shaving cream. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have in my den. Apologize if uh, there's a little shaky or if it's dark in there. Oh, that's my phone mount that I use. Um, if any of you are curious or wondering about a good phone mount, it's a suction cup base and it works for me, but I know some people have issues with it. Um, I just have to get the suction cup wet every time and then it works just fine. Um, and then I have a few razors and soaps that I keep in the bathroom on the shaves, or not razors and soaps, razors and brushes that I keep on the stand in the bathroom because I use them pretty often. So I've got... This turtle ship brush, really cool handle there. Seaweed in the bottom, synthetic. Apologize, I'm kind of out of breath. Uh, not feeling great today, so just taking a little bit more out of me than it would normally. But this is this Yachi 24 millimeter badger brush that 
I've been using this almost exclusively lately just because it's such a great brush. Never expected it to be so great. It was actually sent as a surprise with another brush um, from Brian Foley. He bought me one and the seller included this um, along with it and it's become my favorite brush. Honestly, it's wonderful. I um, have some really great artisan brushes too that I love, but I never expected uh, this to be so nice and it's because it's the only actual nice badger that I have and it can just it can lather up any soap really nicely and I've been using it a ton and really really enjoy it um and I've got the Rockwell 6s of course it's got a feather blade in it right now and last but not least the Razor Rock German 37 slant um, which is a wonderful slant razor at an incredible price. Uh, definitely recommend it to anyone who's wanting to try a slant. Um, and you don't have to invest a lot of money. It's, I think I got it for about 27 bucks. So it's a great razor. Um, might be a little more expensive now, but uh, it's a wonderful razor. Really enjoy it. So, yeah, that's my shaved den of sorts at the moment. The way that I've got it organized. Got the blades there again. Uh, it's not perfect by any means. I did put some cardboard down on this shelf just to prevent everything from tipping over, um, and that worked okay. But definitely not the most visually appealing setup or anything, uh, but it's what works for me and uh, this space right now. So got some shave towels hanging there, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, hopefully I'll be making a review soon of one of those four sets that... Uh, I mentioned that I got for my birthday, so hope to see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.